Hey, what's up guys? This is Jeff and I'm doing my day trading recap for Thursday, July 25th, 2019. I had a really good day. I had a one and done day. Um, I traded Netflix. Netflix wasn't on the gappers list, but it was on my personal list based on daily chart. Um, I really liked the price action from yesterday, had a nice little cap bounce. So I was looking for a continuation of that cap bounce. So as you notice on the daily chart, this thing has been down nine days. And then yesterday had a really strong day to the upside. Um, which I felt like it's, it, you know, it's shorts covering um, and it's squeezing here. So if you look on the 30 minute time frame uh, from yesterday, this thing was bullish and just trending up the entire day. So going in today, I had a little bit of a, a, a long bias and also wanted to let the price action dictate and let me know in the direction it was going to go in. Um, so at the open, this thing sold off. Punched back up, tested VWAP, rejected, tested VWAP again the uh, second time. Uh, rejected and then right when it punched through VWAP that's when I knew I had to take this thing for a long so what I saw here on the first five minutes um, I wanted to take this for opening range breakup um, huge wick at the bottom which implied to me that this is uh, a long there's buying pressure so I took this thing long right here with the stop of the break of VWAP here so good risk to reward here um, you know waited it out for a little bit pretty much tested my patience um, and from there, it just punched up. So right when I got uh, more than my two to one, I took partial profit. So uh, my level that I was looking at was 320, which I thought was going to be a key resistance area. So going into 320, I took a partial. And then here I saw an indecision count on the one minute. And also at this point, I've already made my goal for the day. Um, and I just didn't really want to give anything back. So, uh, yeah, I took everything off there at uh, around 320, I think 40 area so um so that was my one and done day trade for the day and as you can see how strong this stock is i believe this thing is what is it now let me see here yeah i mean this thing is strong i mean on a down day as well so it's showing a uh, really good strength and i just feel like this is shorts covering so so that was my one and done trade on Netflix. I also have uh, a couple swing trades that I have right now. Um, I'm in currently in Zoom, which is uh, working out really nice. So I got in Zoom and I'm also in Cyber. So I show you the Zoom trade that I took for a swing play. So I got in Zoom. I really like this wedge pattern here. Um, you know, and this also beat earnings. So this definitely has a catalyst. I think this is, uh, can break to the upside past $100. So I took it long. And it's uh, definitely working out for me now. And then I'm, I'm still currently in cyber that I've been holding for a couple weeks now. That's been working out pretty nice, which I'll show you here. Let me zoom in for you guys. So yeah, I caught this one um, right off the bounce of the 50 day moving average. I went long. Once it broke, uh, broke out here, I took partial profits. And then now it's just starting to move up. So what I'm doing here is I'm just marching my stop. So um, at the end of today, depending on how it closes today, I'm going to move my stop to this low of day. So as this continue to move higher, I'm going to continue to march uh, my stop loss here. So yeah, if you guys um, are interested in swing trading, I post all my swing trading ideas um, on Twitter. Uh, my handle is at Jeffrey underscore Anthony. Uh, yeah, feel free to leave comments. If you have uh, any questions, comments, feel free to leave them at the bottom and I'll try to get uh, to you guys as fast as I can. I hope you guys are having a great day. See you guys tomorrow in the chat.